If you're like me, you want more Portal content, but I don't want to wait around for Valve anymore, so I'm taking things into my own hands with a new series on this channel called Aperture IRL. Now, I'm not a game designer. I can't make mods. I don't even make custom Portal 2 levels. But I do build physical things, and that's the goal of this series, to take some of the most iconic fictional technology from the Portal franchise and bring it to the real world and share those designs freely. Based on my GLaDOS video, I think some people are concerned that I want to recreate the unethical fictional company in its entirety. My actual goal is just to create a celebration of Portal by creating animatronics, gadgets, and toy versions of the tech from the games and sharing those designs freely so that you can build them too. And yes, the files for Wheatley are already available. And if you like this idea of getting free stuff and free support, you can always support me on Patreon, like these amazing people have right here. But no matter what, stuff's free, service is free. I just like doing this, I'm gonna keep doing it because I like challenging myself and I like making people happy and this seems like the perfect excuse to do so. Also, Wheatley's been pretty expensive to build, so this video wouldn't be possible without today's sponsor, DataCamp. DataCamp is an online learning platform that makes acquiring data skills easier and more convenient for everyone. Since it's, you know, 2022, I feel like we're all obligated to have futuristic jobs like hover mechanic or data scientist. You can't work on, well, actually you can work on hovercraft, but you, you know what I mean. But you can become a data scientist, or at least get started by taking some online courses with DataCamp. They've got courses for all different skill sets. Both beginners and pros can find great ways to expand their knowledge with DataCamp's over 350 data science courses, which are designed by top experts. If you have no idea where to begin, you can take one of DataCamp's free assessments to get a personalized learning recommendation. Now, I get a lot of requests to put AI into my personality core design, and that's kind of a tall order, but I think a great place to start on that AI journey would be understanding natural language. So I should probably take DataCamp's natural language processing in Python course. I don't really know what I'm waiting for. But more importantly, what are you waiting for? Invest in yourself. You can use my link in the description below to check out the first chapter of any DataCamp course for free. Thanks again to DataCamp for sponsoring this video. Also, since I figured Star Wars fans have the R2-D2 Builders Club, there are plenty of people out there who seem to want to build their own personality core, so why not make the Personality Core Builders Club? I've just launched a new Discord channel. You can join in the link in the description below and come and hang out and talk about building personality cores. I'd love to have you there, and I think we'll make something amazing. But that being said, I've got something pretty complicated that I'd love to share with you and get your feedback on it. And uh, yeah, let's just get testing. Turning on the power switch, and it popped right through the shell. All right, manually supporting the power switch. Nothing should happen because it's not connected, but let's do that. <clears throat> All right, so let's do a quick run through of the features. First up, independent eyelids, upper and lower. Face can pan left and right. Tilt up and down. Subtle face, wait, let's go, let's center it. Subtle face twist. Ooh. It's subtle, but it's there. Handles. All right.
right, you'll notice there's an issue. I'm not currently operating the Waldo, and yet Wheatley is picking up some sort of interference in the analog signals that control his motions. Or he's alive! Maybe he's, no, it's, it's probably just, but maybe he's a real AI. It's probably electrical noise. This video was a little bit scattered and a lot shorter than I wanted it to be. Don't worry, this is not the last you're gonna see of Wheatley. But if you want to see more, you should subscribe. Should I subscribe? Ah, there's so much latency right now. I gotta redo the whole wireless system.